With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. First drafted back in 2009 by the Golden State Warriors, Stephen Curry battled through injuries in the early part of his career to become a two-time league MVP, three-time NBA champ, six-time All-Star, and is widely considered to be the greatest shooter in the NBA ever. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With a decade plus in the league and accolades like that attached to his name, he's also earned himself some impressive contracts that have built his bank account up to a staggering heights and afforded him the ability to own multiple homes throughout his career. Over the past two years, Steph has been shuffling his real estate holdings as the Golden State Warriors move cities and he sold off two previous homes for two brand spanky new ones. Stephen Curry is an American professional basketball player who's been credited with revolutionizing the game by placing more emphasis on the three-point line. Curry from half court. Banking him. Reshaping the game the way he has led him to banking some absolutely monster contracts, including signing the NBA's first $200 million contract back in 2017. He's had the league's top salary for the past two seasons, making an average of $40 million per year. Outside of basketball, Curry also makes a lot of money from other ventures and endorsements, like those with Under Armour, Chase, and even SportsCenter. When you factor in his endorsement money, Steph is doubling his annual salary and looking at close to $80 million per year. Meanwhile, Steph isn't even the only multi-millionaire in his family. His wife Aisha Curry is a celebrity chef, television host, and author with a net worth of 16 mil. With a joint bank account like that, you'd assume that the Currys only live in the nicest of homes, and you would, of course, be right. After selling off two homes, one in Alamo, California, and the other in North Carolina, the Currys purchased two new homes, one of which was the most expensive house sold in the Bay area through all of 2019, while the other is a brand new luxury condo only minutes away from where Steph plays at the Chase Center. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're taking a look at the multiple homes of Steph Curry here for you on Famous Entertainment. With the NBA season about to restart, I thought it would be fun to take a look at the different homes Steph will be spending a lot more time in since the Golden State Warriors weren't invited to participate in Orlando. You just know that even though he won't be playing, he'll for sure be watching from home. We've done house tours and likes of LeBron James and Michael Jordan, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram and we can continue the conversation on there. As always, let me know who'd you like to see next in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Steph lived in this first home for close to three years, having recently sold it for $6.3 million in January of 2019 after purchasing the Contra Costa country estate for only $5.775 million back in 2016. Found in a guard-gated community, this 1.5-acre property includes a traditional-style main home, a detached guest house, and a six-car garage. Outside, the landscaped estate holds various fountains, lawns, an infinity-edge swimming pool, and an outdoor pavilion. It even has a 1,700-gallon well on the property that provides irrigation for the gardens and plant life. The main house was built in 2006, and it's 10,290 square feet of living space with five bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, and five fireplaces. Inside, you can also find all the features one might come to expect from a superstar athlete's abode, including a billiard room, a climate-controlled wine cellar, and a finished-style spa for complete rest and relaxation. Of course, with Aisha being the fantastic cook that she is, the kitchen has been completely remodeled to include top-of-the-line appliances that would make her life easier as a celebrity chef and cookbook author. We just moved into this house not too long ago. When we first moved in, this kitchen was dark and drab and not happening at all. We loved the layout. We loved the openness of the space. And so I just wanted it to be light and bright and airy. We needed two refrigerators, one because I cook so much. I do meal prep for Stefan for when he has games. Uh, um, especially during the playoffs and things like that. And then, of course, you have the kids' food and all the stuff that I'm testing for the vlog. Here it is in all its glory. Believe it or not, this Alamo home wasn't the only million dollar residence that Steph sold in January of last year. He also sold his property located in North Carolina for $1.19 million. Steph attended Davidson College for three years, which is located in the Tar Heel State, the same state where his father, Del Curry, played for the Charlotte Hornets. While living there, he purchased a 7,650 square foot home that has four bedrooms, 
and 5.5 bathrooms spread out over three stories. This European style home opens to a grand foyer with a sky-high ceiling and immediate staircase access to all four floors. The main level includes a gigantic great room featuring a dedicated living room area with a massive stone fireplace and towering French doors. A strategically placed second floor balcony overlooks that great room and keeps the spaces open and accessible. Adjacent to this space is formal dining room with a fireplace of its own and further down the line is a gourmet kitchen with wolf and sub-zero appliances as well as a cozy casual dining. Nook. The second floor is entirely occupied with the master suite of the house, which includes a spacious master bedroom, a separate light-filled oak-lined office, a wet bar, and a bathroom with a luxuriously large shower and separate jacuzzi-style deep-soaking tub that Steph must have no doubt taken advantage of after all those long team practices. This suite also includes a custom fitted walk-in closet with heaps of shelf and drawer space because let's face it, no celebrity house is complete with one of those. On the third floor is where you'll find the other three bedrooms, all with their own ensuite bathrooms. It also has a library and a media room boasting leather armchairs and a mini bar, but most of the entertaining likely takes place in the bottom floor. That's where you'll find a large bar, a billiards area, media center, space for dining, a wine cellar, and even a separate room perfect for a home gym or yoga studio. It's hard to believe that Steph gave up a place this nice, but wait till you hear about what he upgraded to. In June of last year, Steph and his family purchased this $31 million mansion in Atherton, California. It would end up being the most amount paid for a house in the Bay Area in all of 2019. After laying down money like that, you might not be surprised to learn that one of the main selling features about this house is its privacy and the details of what it's like inside remain somewhat of a mystery. The Currys purchased this home off market and through a separate entity, but what we do know about the place is that it's a modern three level gated house and almost completely hidden from the street it's situated on. It sits on 1.2 acres of land and outside it features a guest house and three car garage. If that amount of garage space isn't enough for you, then the driveway is reportedly big enough to fit half half a dozen other vehicles, just in case. While Steph's kids no doubt can enjoy the swimming pool with a cabana, mom and dad can entertain their guests around their patio, which comes complete with a fireplace and a built-in barbecue. I cook with my family all of the time. It's my biggest message that I have to send through my career in food is get in the kitchen, cook with your families, no matter what your family looks like, who they are, your friends, whoever. It's the perfect setting to build a great family foundation and relationship, and it opens the door for communication, so I love it. Inside the kitchen boasts plenty of light with floor to ceiling windows that look out into a large garden. When they were buying this home, Aisha was looking for the perfect kitchen to prepare meals in with and bond with her family. The home was built from scratch in 2019 by prominent Atherton developer Joko Martin and his Woodlane Properties in collaboration with Acarium Architecture and Landscape Architects Studio Green. With this move, Steph can now call the wealthiest zip code in the country home. Just down the street from him is Warriors owner Joe Lacob, as well as WhatsApp billionaire Jan Coom. And while we might not have a great idea what it's like on the inside, as the Currys continue to post wholesome content like this to their Instagram. Are you gonna run? Go. Go. Push ups. Let me see it. One. Oh, that was only one? You do, do the sit ups. Do the sit ups. All right, one. More and more details will emerge. Finally, let's take a look at the newest property Steph has snatched up, a brand new luxury condo located in the heart of downtown San Francisco. Steph is looking to move into this 2,800 square foot condo on the 30th floor of the 45 story Four Seasons private residences this very month. The building is getting ready for its grand opening and features 146 units, a gym, game room, private dining room with bar service, terrace with fire pits, and a library. Curry paid slightly less than $8 million for his 2,800 square foot living space and while his family will continue to primarily live at their new home in Atherton, the location of this condo provides Steph darn near immediate access to where he plays at the Chase Center, which is only a couple miles down the road. It's also just blocks from the International Smoke, a restaurant co-owned by Aisha Curry, in case these two lovebirds are ever looking to get away from the kids for a night before heading to work in the morning.
Each residence comes with bedrooms featuring 10-foot ceilings and views of the bay, as well as large bathrooms with clean white finishes and modern kitchens with ample wine storage. The building also features some further luxurious amenities like being managed by Four Seasons staff 24-7 and a fifth level that's dedicated club for the residents. It even has a gym designed by celebrity personal trainer Harley Pasterna, as well as an art curator and wine consultant on staff for all of your entertaining emergencies. This place really seems to have thought about everything. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about all four of Steph's homes, former and current, in the comments down below. If you had your choice, which one would you want to set up shop in? His home in North Carolina seemed to be fully loaded. It'll be hard to pass up living in an influential neighborhood as he is now, not to mention all the perks of that unbelievable condo. No doubt it's a tough call, but the number one rule of real estate is location, location, location. So I would probably settle on his brand spanking new Four Seasons condo. It'll be like living in the world's nicest hotel for your entire life. Anyways, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.